Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast right off the bat on today's show. Another week goes by and more SRT Hellcat Demon news have come out in the form of another teaser video ahead of this vehicle's debut. And this particular video centers all around the Uconnect infotainment system inside of the machine, which covers all the parameters of this vehicle, including temperatures, horsepower, torque numbers, it also does zero to 60 times, eighth mile times, and quarter mile times. Now, this particular system also has three different settings as far as this vehicle is concerned, including an auto setting, a drag setting, and a custom setting if you want to set up your own tune-up for going down the quarter-mile drag strip. Another little teaser inside of a teaser, according to the folks over at topspeed.com, is they did notice that every screenshot of this Uconnect 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system shows a timestamp at the top of the screen of 757, which has got those folks thinking this could be the horsepower or torque numbers of the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. But again, we're going to have to wait and see on that front as we got a handful more of these videos before this vehicle's April New York Auto Show debut. Next up on the list, a new range of vehicles was shown off at the Geneva Motor Show from the folks over Aston Martin. And it's going to come in the form of a program called AMR, aka Aston Martin Racing, which is going to be a subsidiary of the Q organization, which is a customization group inside of Aston Martin. There's going to be a pair of different ranges. There one's going to be called AMR, and another one's going to be called AMR Pro. The AMR version is in the background. It's the brand new Rapide AMR. That vehicle comes with a lot of high performance goodness, including a brand new carbon fiber front splitter, side sills, and rear spoiler. A lot of carbon fiber interior pieces as well, and lightweight wheels on all four corners. This vehicle, of course, comes with a 5.9 liter, normally aspirated V12, making 592 horsepower. The one in the foreground is the Vantage AMR Pro. Now this takes the performance level to a next level, which this thing comes with a lot of high performance goodness, including a GT4 spec 500 horsepower, normally aspirated V8. The vehicle comes with a wide body kit and a race tuned suspension, along with larger grills that are on all these machines to help with the cooling of these vehicles. Carbon fiber front splitter, side sill, fixed rear wing, and rear diffuser inside of this, all done in carbon fiber, and comes with a custom built roll cage for this particular vehicle. Aston has yet to release pricing or availability on the new AMR and ARMR Pro editions of these vehicles, but we'll have that information hopefully very, very soon. Another manufacturer showing off a high performance version of their current editions is the Lamborghini and the new Hurricane, but this time done in the Hurricane Performante. We talked about this machine absolutely annihilating the Nurburgring in under seven minutes, and now we got some of the specs to show off the performance of this particular machine. It comes with a multi-port direct stratified injection system, normally aspirated V10, that makes 631 horsepower and 443 pounds-feet of torque. That is shifted through a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. 0 to 60 comes in at 2.9 seconds with a top speed of just over 200 miles an hour. This particular vehicle comes with a aluminum and carbon fiber uh, space frame and also comes with a lot of composite goodness as far as this vehicle is concerned including the rear engine cover the front splitter the side sills the rear wings the rear fascia and the rear diffuser the vehicle just through those options alone had lost 88 pounds of weight and this thing in four-wheel drive mode has 3350 pound curb weight the vehicle comes with 10% stiffer suspension on all four corners with a 15% stiffer roll rate along with 20 inch forged wheels that have center locking uh, nuts and along with Pirelli Trofeo Sport Cup tires on all four corners as well. No availability has come out on this as of yet, but Lamborghini's already announced that U.S. pricing will come in at $274,390 U.S. dollars. 
Another super sports car that debuted at the Geneva Motor Show come from not only the group of Pininfarina, but from famed race car drivers Emerson Fittipaldi. This is the Fittipaldi EF7. Now, this particular vehicle comes with a lot of hypercar goodness, including a carbon minocoque chassis, carbon fiber body, a 4.8 liter normally aspirated dry sump V8 making 600 brake horsepower and a 9,000 RPM redline. Yeah, this thing's a screamer, along with a sequential gearbox. If you want to drive this thing right now, you can in Gran Turismo 6. It is a download vehicle. Also, if you'd like to drive it in the flesh, it's a little bit trickier. Only 39 of these vehicles are going to be built. No pricing or availability has come out as of yet. But one little trick that buying one of these machines will get you is a track day alone with Emerson Fittipaldi, which will help you come to grips with the performance of this particular machine, which is a pretty cool little deal indeed. Last up on the list, Audi showing off the refreshed version of the RS5. Now this particular vehicle always looked good, and I think they've really done a fine job of continuing on with that fashion. The vehicle comes with a 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 that does lose a little performance from the outgoing RS5, this one making 444 horsepower and 443 pounds-feet of torque. That is shifted through an 8-speed automatic gearbox the vehicle is obviously all-wheel drive and has a 40 to 60 front rear split. It does come with an optional torque vectoring system. 0 to 62 comes in at just 3.5 seconds with a top speed of 174 miles an hour. The vehicle has dynamic ride control, dynamic steering, carbon ceramic brakes on all four corners, and a carbon fiber roof that can be done in bare naked or clear coated or in body color if you so desire. Audi has yet to release pricing or availability on this vehicle, but we'll keep you in tune once we hear that information. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.